on the agenda or that's your part? Next item on the agenda is a resolution to sell school property by private sale. I'll make a motion. I'll second that motion. And I think, um, Mr. President, you probably want to speak to this item. I don't think we want to read the whole resolution. No, you don't want to do that, but you no. probably want to um, give a rundown of what we're doing here. I'll give some background and then just what we are proposing here. Uh, in November of 2002, 93 acres of land were purchased by the district from the state of Ohio for $1.1 million. Uh, building that was on the land was abated, demolished for approximately 400000 using proceeds from the sale of the board-owned Carter Road property in Sagamore Hills. We attempted to auction off 93 acres in November of 2010, but however, we received no acceptable bids. The, the bids ranged anywhere from $88,000 for the 93 acres to $1.1 million. The board passed a resolution at that time that the proceeds from the sale of this land would be used uh, to complete the athletic facility improvements board made a commitment to the community that if the additional funds needed to complete the high school athletic complex not covered by were not covered not covered by the bond issue could be uh, not be raised by fundraising efforts naming rights then the proceeds from the sale of the land would be earmarked for completion of this project recently we received an offer from redwood acquisition llc for 1.9 million dollars for 36 of the 93 acres that equates to about 52,778 per acre versus the amount the district has invested in the purchase of the land plus the uh, abatement of the uh, asbestos issues along with the demolition of the existing structures are all in cost with 16,129 per acre so we can do the math, 52.7 minus 16.1, it's a fairly substantial increase. Should this transaction go through, the district will retain approximately 57 acres as open green space uh, for school facility use. Redwood is proposing to develop residential, single family, high end apartment homes for the use of this land. To be honest with you, I really don't know how many they're planning on using, or with 100 or 50 or 25, anybody? Tom, you have any idea? Don't know. All right. Uh, the uh, sale of this land is contingent upon the changing of zoning regulations uh, by Sagamore Hills. Uh, should we pass this resolution, uh, the next step would be uh, Redwood to go to Sagamore Hills and request uh, zoning changes. That's a bit, a bit of the history and a bit of the uh, current situation uh, pertaining to this. Do we have any discussion among board members? Uh, I think that we've uh, found a solution here, uh, thanks to Tom and thanks to others' uh, hard work, uh, that really should be um, palatable to Sagamore Hills. <coughs> certainly, I don't have any appreciation for all the zoning issues that may come up, um, but certainly, in terms of their concern over a density of housing or other type of development, certainly in terms of their concerns over uh, green space, uh, I believe that, that Red, Redwood acquisition is really, um, you know, made statements to us that make us feel uh, pretty good about their concern in that regard. So I think this is hopefully the best of both worlds. Obviously, there's um, some discussions and zoning uh, hoops to jump through still, but. Um, you know, we have a timetable on this. I believe that this is supposed to be resolved within eight months. Um, otherwise, there are extensions that need to be processed. Correct. I think it's worthy to note that uh, uh, Mr. Hartman has actually contacted the trustees of Sagamore Hills to keep them up to date and keep them on the same table. So this, none of this was a surprise to them either. And that's very important. I thank you because I think that really having an open dialogue is very important for them as well as us. I have one thing also, I, and I would point out something I think that's also important to us is that these are high end um, luxury apartments uh, marketed towards empty nesters. This is not something that would bring in kids to the district. These are, um, these are really uh, people that are retired who are looking for a place of maintenance free living in a nice area by the park. 
if, if you can, a couple of things. Uh, they have completed a development in Hudson. If uh, there was, I think there was an ad in the last week or two weeks ago, news leader advertising for those uh, accommodations. So you could take a look and see what they were advertising at the Hudson location. And they are planning on doing the same thing at this location. We, uh, we bought this land in 2002. It's been 11 years. I don't know uh, that a school facility is going to be built or planned in the future for this land. We are retaining 57 of the 90, uh, 93 acres. And that's uh, enough land should we wish to do something with that, if that is in the, uh, our crystal ball for the future. Likewise, uh, the land could be donated to Metro Parks. The land could be donated or sold. No need to retract that. The land could be sold to Sagamore Hills uh, so that the green space is maintained. Uh, we feel that this is, at this time, and for the foreseeable future that this is the best use of the land and maximizes our proceeds as what we can uh, obtain from the sale of this land to be able to complete the uh, shortfall for the athletic facilities. The athletic facilities had a shortfall of $2 million. This would go toward $1.9 million towards the completion of that. And I think we still have to discuss with the athletic boosters where they're at with the other $100,000 or discuss maybe wrapping it up at the $1.9 million and see what the architects can come up with uh, for the remaining portion so we can finally put this thing to rest. That's the only comments that I have. I don't know if it's probably not appropriate to ask the audience if they have any questions, but... Uh, after the meeting, if anybody wants to talk, I'm sure Jeffrey here will have a long uh, article in the paper about it. You can, we could be reading about the questions to the editor, letters to the editor in the future. There's people that are going to be not happy with this. There are people that are going to be thrilled with this. We recognize that, but we feel on a collaborative effort that this is the best use and the highest price that we could get for this particular land. Uh, Tom has been negotiating with them for, what, two, three months? And... Uh, we, we, we pushed them, I think, as far as we could. And we, uh, personally, I'm quite pleased that we're able to uh, negotiate this particular price. Any other comments? I uh, just want to state, I do believe that if the land goes through, or the sale goes through, that the board would still have to approve the usage of the funds for the the best efforts the athletic fields or whatever. I mean, it still would have the funds have to be approved by the board. Oh yeah. The usage. Well, these funds are earmarked because of the land for well outdoor facilities. Outdoor facilities, but then we obviously have multiple things we could have as all. Okay, facilities. fair enough. However, I believe didn't we prior to my uh, time on the board that the community was promised that the proceeds from the sale of this land would be used to complete the athletic facility. Doug and Dan, and God knows Betty was here at that time, so. Yes, I was. You, you have a recollection of that one? It was designed, when I was president, it was designed to save the money so that it would not be, it would be able to be used for outdoor facilities. And that it would not be, it could not be used for operating, uh, expense. operating expenses and salaries. And That's so. clear. And this is not an operating expense uh, utilization, it's for permanent improvements and outdoor facilities. And, and I do think, uh, just maybe to repeat what you just said, that we were uh, very clear in terms of the uh, initial bond issue that was passed in November of 2008, that we were essentially going to try to finance, I believe, $6.8 million out of the $8.8 .8 million that we needed to do the project through the issuance of the bonds, the $2 million shortfall uh, we hoped to raise through uh, fundraising and other uh, vehicles. Uh, that hasn't panned out as expected or as hoped, but uh, all along we, we advertised and, and stated that if, if we did have uh, the need to, to close that $2 million gap, we did have the asset uh, in terms of the land at Sagamore that we would be able to sell um, and, and use for that purpose. And just one other small comment. There, there haven't been developers lining up. 
to make offers on his land. As you can see back in 2010, 88 to 1 point 1.1, uh, not acceptable at all. The 1.9 was very attractive at this point. Any other discussion? I'd like to close the portion of this discussion. And uh, Karen, would you please take the roll? Mr. Biddle. Yes. Mr. Burroughs. Yes. Mrs. Klingenberg. Yes. Mr. Gallagher. Yes. Mr. Mastell. Yes. Vote passes 5 0. <clears throat> item number four is a recommendation to approve personnel items. 